Attention all students. On behalf of your global governmental school system, we thank you for your interest in the new unisex school uniform you have inquired about today. Because all are seen as equal by your school, everyone must accept a unisex uniform of unity and equality within your public school. It is why your parents have also accepted this new requirement and have told you to comply. It isn't to devalue your appearance or your self-esteem, but, to help you adhere to a global acceptance of each other. Transgenders and homosexuals were the first stage of this new world order compliance to neutral perceptions of each child. You have been educated to accept this since you entered school. Some still do not accept this philosophy and are being reorientated to believe and accept. There is no other option but to believe that what your government is doing is in your best interest as a global citizen and a young socialist. Our great dictator, Barack Hussein Obama, showed us that in 2008 when he became our global leader. It is because of him that you are now so much better off than you ever would have been, should he have been ousted by Donald Trump in 2017. In front you are the accepted unisex uniforms that are permissible in your school. No other type will be accepted but you understand because you know what is expected of you now, don't you? The first style is the colobium. It was the standard clothing style some 1000 years ago in Rome and Greece. See how styles never go out, they always come back again one way or the other. The second style is the chiton, also seen all over Europe during the time of the Roman Empire. Men, women, and children all wore these types of clothing because they were easy to wear and clean. Noon felt inferior to another because all of them respected each other. The third style is called a tunic, which also is similar to the first two styles we have shown you already. Be assured that your size and measurements will be exact and the material will comply to all global school system standards. As you aware, Muslim students wear their uniforms with veils to cover their faces, if you are a girl. Boys will not have any restrictions for their unisex uniforms because even Muslim boys do not have requirements of appearance constraints. During winter months of the year, you will be given longer cloaks that will protect your legs from cold temperatures. During the warmer months of the year, you will not be permitted to wear them while you in school or during physical education classes. Be aware that any student who does not comply with this requirement will be expelled from school or given detention by your teacher or school principal. Comply and be happy, don't resist and be ostracized by your peers. Your school spirit is so important and your classmates all want to conform to school rules. You all are global citizens, remember that you are in this together and you all will get along with each other if you only will accept who you are. Don't feel sad. Feel glad because you are all equal as one people. Be submissive to your friends, family, and school. On behalf of your principal and staff in your school, we thank you for your attention today. At the prompt, please enter your complete measurements. At the end of the ordering process, you will be scanned as a final procedure to confirm what you have entered. Any differential of what you entered will be corrected, so don't worry if you entered the wrong information. After all, we all are human, aren't we? Congratulations, your uniform will be made and sent to your school shortly. Check with your home class teacher to find out the status of your uniform shipment. The following has been provided as a free service to your school or local shelter from the United Socialistic States of America's Board of Educational Compliance Office in Washington, D.C.